What's up YouTube? Back with another video. I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man and I got a video here on a shoe that just came out like, and I actually came out like a month ago, but it took a while to get here. And normally when you get a shoe from this place, the shipment updates come from shop. And I didn't get a shipment update saying that it was shipped until it was already sitting in my door and I didn't even know what it was because it came from Jazai Investments somewhere in Indiana. And I don't know, didn't know what that was, but I hope I know what this is. Uh, but before we go any further, we're going to have a word from our sponsor. In this verse, it's a word from God. This is um, going to be a, um, a verse from Genesis 3. Oh no, it locked. There we go. Genesis 3. Uh, this is verse 2. The woman said, and the woman here is Eve. We know Adam and Eve were perfect human beings when they were in the Garden of Eden, sh Eden shortly after they were created by God. And actually, let's go back a little bit. Um, let's go back even a little bit further. Today, or Pey Peyton's recording now. Peyton, have you ever heard uh, like a saying, or do you feel that this is the case? It's probably better whether or not you feel it. Like kids these days have to deal with so much more and such different things, like just so much worse than kids from a long time ago, like like than I did when I was your age. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that that's probably the case? Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. All right. That's not true. Okay. Things are different. I mean, I've heard it. People say it, and people, many people will insist that it is true. I don't think it's true at all. Because actually the Bible says, and I don't know, have the verse in front of me, but it says there's nothing new under the sun. And one of the things that seems new today is all this identity issue. Like, I'm, I'm a man. I'm a, a male. You're a, a girl. You're a female, right? And there's a whole lot of concern and confusion over what that is or, 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 or what you are. And there's probably been a little bit less of that in the past, but I'm gonna go so far back to an identity crisis. It's in Genesis 3, 2. It's an identity crisis. It's, I don't know who I am, so I'm gonna call myself or act like or try to be like whatever the heck it is I wanna be and call myself whatever I want to. This is Genesis 3, verse two. The woman, Eden, um, said to the serpent, the serpent in this situation was uh, Satan, says, we may eat the fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, you must not eat the fruit from the tree that's in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you'll die. Uh, verse 4 says, you will certainly not die, so the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also de desirable for gaining wisdom, being like God, uh, she took it and she ate it. Like, she's like, I'm not enough the way that I am. I want to be like God. Because, and the serpent said, if I eat this, actually what's going to happen is I'm going to be like God. So I don't want to be like me. I want to be like something else. I'm not, I'm not, uh, what's the word? I'm not okay with it. I'm not, dang, I can't think of the word. I don't know. I'm not okay with just being me. I'm not okay with what I am. I need more. I need something else. So I'm just going to go get it wherever the heck I think I, I think I might be able to find it. And actually she didn't know it, but or she didn't realize it at the time, but she was as much like God as she was ever going to get really. And uh, because earlier in the Bible it said that, that which isn't much earlier, but uh, it says that we're made in his image. So all of these identity issues, they go all the way back to original sin. So sin is just sin. And all of the temptation we've ever had has always been there. There's nothing new under the sun. You're just experiencing the same things. They just look a little bit different. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get into this shoe. Um, and that was actually, where did I see that? I think that was just a piece, a little tiny bit of something that I heard from another um, sermon, I think. And that was just a piece that stuck with me, that that particular issue of the first sin is, it's an identity issue that... Uh, we didn't like who we were, so I'm trying to make myself into whatever, even if it's impossible. Okay, all right. So this is actually the second silhouette of the shoe that I had. The other one was also an Amaminier. Look at the box. Looks like it'd be a panda box. Because it's black and white. But no, look at the A's. There's A's. There's A's. There's a a a's. They're all over. Huh? I have one other Amaminier right here. Have two. Let me get this one. It's this A. Do you see it all over the box? 
No, that's not an A. Where's my A? <laughs> oh, there it is. That A. You see the A? Hmm? You see it on the box? Yep. Okay. So I think this looks pretty cool. The box actually kind of looks like it's branded. You know, like burned? You know what branded is. All right. Box is a little messed up. It's a little unfortunate, but this is the Air, the Jordan Airship PESP Summit White and Black. This is the Airship, also sometimes known as the Jordan Zero. Man, this box is kind of messed up. Airship, ooh, we got a P, Airship PE box owner's manual. It's always cool when you get these because it talks a little bit about the shoe, the air sole, the low profile flex design, the flexible foot bars, those little ridges in the in the outsole are for flexibility and traction flexibility which increases traction we get it wrapped up like a subway sandwich yummy oh kind of looks like my pink and white ones jordans yeah yeah but these are jordan zeros not jordan ones he wore these before he even wore the, the ones. All right, let's see. So I'm not a huge fan of the silhouette. And I think the, the main reason I'm not a fan of this silhouette is because it's so plain. But this was actually kind of the point of this silhouette when it was around in 84, 85, because and a lot of uh, players, NBA players, wore these, including Michael, for a little while. But the NBA wanted them to be plain. Yeah. Like the National, National Basketball Association wanted them to be plain. Um, so these are still kind of plain. I like the sail on this one. I think it works. It kind of matches the yellow color on the side of the cut leather. Uh, it's got white laces in it, but it's got some like just dirty looking laces. What's on the bottom of the shoe? It's supposed to look aged. Kind of like these. Oh. It's just like whited out a little bit. Like faded looking. So I kind of like this. Looks like and you walked on fresh Paint. Concrete. No concrete yet. It's like dusty. Yeah. yeah. Um, the the other Amomaniere that I had, it was also a little bit. Um, I mean, I didn't. I wasn't a huge fan of the the materials. This is about the same. The size is not on the inside of these, which I thought it would be. It's got a Jordan 365 outsole, which I didn't or insole, which I didn't expect. Let's take a look at this insole. If it even comes out, it does come out. And Ooh. it is a nice polyurethane Jordan 365 insole. Like this is this is nice. I'm, I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised about this. Um, this is cool. I don't really know what that is. Looks like a zipper. It's a zip. Yeah, looks like a zipper handle. Oh, it's got a little lanyard in there, like a clasp. Can you see it in the in the camera? Mm -hmm. Nice. That's cool. I mean, you can put that anywhere, I guess. Let's see if this shoe looks any different. You should hook it onto the back of the shoe. It looks like you zipped up your shoe. <laughs> this one has the A. Oh my gosh. This one has the A here. And this one says Nike Air here. Also Jordan 365. They've got the slightly orange nylon tongue, kind of like, among others, the... Phantom, or that's not a Phantom, that's a Fragment, Travis Fragment Low, uh, orange tongue though. Lots of recent shoes, recent Jordan 1s mainly have come with that, uh, which this is a whole lot like. So I like this more than I expected I would, but it's not something I would ever wear. Yeah. No, but it's cool and I, I'm, I'm happy to have another Amomaniere, although I think those are the only Amomaniere's I've kept, the threes and the fours. Those look really good. Which ones? I like both those two. This one and this one? Yeah. Yeah. Which one's better? Mm, the brown. Really? Those aren't brown. These are purple. They're purple? Yeah. Like mauve -ish. Yeah. It's brown. I like those better, but I like those. Those are pretty cool. All right. Well, y'all let me know what you think about the Amamaniere Jordan Airship and this particular colorway. I think I like this colorway better than the other one. But again, I think the reason why I don't like airships in general is because they're pretty plain. Miguel just got a pair that was that had that was actually pretty. I, I think I kind of like it better than this, but it's mostly like Carolina bluish, with a really big swoosh, and I like a big swoosh at least. And it's not so plain looking. I think it was mostly suede, and I'm not a fan of this leather. This color leather is pretty nice. Feel that? Oh, the 
color. Oh. That feels nice. Yeah, that feels Wait, nice. The rest isn't all that great. It has an 11 on it. Given mm -hmm. her a smell, it does smell pretty. Oh, there. Okay. I didn't see that. 11 is the size. Oh. It does smell good. It does. Best smell of Jordan we've had in a while. All right. Well, y'all let me know what you think about this down below. And rest easy. Easier. Because nothing new that this world is going through, no matter what's going through, right? What is going, what it is going through right now from politics to social concerns to social unrest to what else is going on, wildfires, all that stuff. And there's nothing new under the sun, nothing he hasn't seen. And if it's things that are personal to you, whether it is you thinking about identity concerns, luckily, as I always say, Jesus is God is never going to leave you or forsake you as long as you trust that he's going to forgive you for whatever it is that you might be thinking or doing that that uh, that is a sin that you're, you're, you're having trouble understanding your own identity he made you in a certain way whether you have trouble understanding that or not whether you're dealing with it or not he's going to forgive you for it so thank you jesus for dying for our sins thank you all for watching smash that like button tell your grandma about the airship i'll see you next time <laughs> you're so pretty i'm so glad Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh! Shoes. And I like shoes. <laughs> Fire. It's so cute.